All right, one of the students actually asked me about this question and he told me this is the IGCSE question this year and then it's like nine mark question in the exam. So I d decided to like teach all of you how to solve these kind of questions. Okay, over here, you should be able to see a diagram here and then you have a graph y equals to one plus cos x and then they give you both different area in the red and blue color. Uh, they give you the ratio of the area. Area A is ratio one, area B is ratio K. And then they ask you to find the exact value of K. All right. So in order to solve this question, right, the first thing come into my mind is maybe I want to find the, uh, the intersection point. So I try to find this intersection point here because it's quite easy to find. Since we have the equation of uh, the cos graph, which is one plus cos x, and then we have the straight line equation, y equals to one. So I can just sub one into here. So I will get one plus cos x equals to one, then cos x, or equals to zero. Then x will be uh, zero will be 90 degree pi over two and 270 degree three pi over two. So I can easily get both of this value pi over two and three pi over two. All right, then you should be able to see a rectangle here. So if I use a rectangle and I integrate the cos, uh, one plus cos x graph from pi over two to three pi over two, I'm actually getting this area. So you can imagine if I use a rectangle to minus this green color area, I should be able to get the area of A here. Okay, so this is what I want to do here. So I will just say, oops, I will just say the area A is equal to rectangle. This 3 pi over 2 minus pi over 2, I get pi. Or you can just write 3 pi over 2 minus pi over 2. Multiply the height here is 1. All right, minus the green color area, which is uh, I would need to integrate from pi over two to three pi over two, uh, one plus cos x dx. All right, so in order to solve this thing, um, this one is just pi minus. This one I can straight away integrate. Integrate one give me x, integrate cos x give me sine x. So three pi over two and pi over two. Then what we want to do is we need to sub 3 pi over 2 into the x first. So I get 3 pi over 2. 3 pi over 2 sub into sine x, we will get a negative 1 here. So we'll get a negative 1. Minus, if I sub the pi over 2 into x, sub the pi over 2 into sine x, I will get positive 1, isn't it? So, so yeah, then I will just try to solve this one. This is pi. And um, here will be... 3 pi over 2 minus pi over 2 will be pi, pi minus uh, pi. And then this one should give me like negative 2. So by solving this one, I know the area of A is 2 unit square. Alright, so after I got the uh, area of A, I want to use the same logics to get the area of A and B. Because do you see a big rectangle? So if a big rectangle, I just need to use like uh, this one, one cycle, I believe the R here is 2 pi. And then the P here is 2 based on I uh, understand the uh, 1 plus cos x. In it. Because 1 plus cos x basically means the amplitudes of the cos x is 1. So this is 1, right? The amplitude is plus 1, minus 1. So yeah, so here will be 2. Here will be 2 pi because the x, right? That's mean 1, the period is 2 pi. Alright, so right now what I want to do right now is I I'm going to use a 2 pi times 2, which is 4 pi, minus the area under uh the area under the curve, which is the I minus this the blue color one, which is including the green color part. Right? So I basically I minus because I want to integrate the cost graph from uh 0 all the way to 2 pi. Okay, so that I can get the whole area of A plus B. Okay, okay, so let me, because the space is so limited, so let me maybe use the space here. Okay, maybe I use the space here to solve. So I can say area A plus area B is equal to 2 pi multiply 2 minus, I integrate um, from 0 to 2 pi, the 1 plus cos x. Definitely we can do a dx here. Alright, then this is 4 pi minus this one i already integrate just now x plus sine x zero to two pi so yep i can insert the two pi into the x here is just two pi 
2 pi into sine x is 0, 0 into both is 0, so it's just like minus 0, so it's just 2 pi. So it should be 2 pi. So if area A plus area B is 2 pi, so from here we can get the area B as well, isn't it? Because just now we already found that area A is 2 at the bottom here, do you see? Area A is equal to 2 here. Then I can know my area B is, so my area B is basically 2 pi minus 2. Okay, now what we want to do is we're going to focus on this ratio to find our k. Since the a, okay, area A ratio, area B is 1 ratio k. Just now my area A is 2. So therefore, my area B should be 2k. Okay, this one is in the ratio world. This one is in our, uh, I call it real world or my calculation world. So, I mean in the actual calculation, yeah, the area B should be 2k. So just now we got area B is 2 pi minus 2. So therefore, I can say 2k is equal to 2 pi minus 2. Because this is my actual area, isn't it? So I sub into the, I mean, actual area in terms of ratio. Okay, so therefore I can know my k is divide 2 for everything pi minus 1. Yeah, this is my final answer. Okay, I hope this uh, short video can help you understand how to solve this kind of 9 mark question. I would think this kind of question is quite tough. If First thing, if you are not so good in trigonometry graph, then you might start a little bit because you're not sure about the amplitudes and the, and the period things. The second thing is you need to have a deep understanding on the integration, especially how to find the area and so on. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.